This legendary F1 driver started from last place and won. And what about the intense rivalry in the desert between Hamilton and Rosberg? Ah, nothing like two multi-millionaires battling it out under the scorching sun to really get the adrenaline pumping. Whether it's bad weather or just intense rivalry, some Formula 1 races are packed with drama, excitement and unforgettable moments. These are the best races in Formula 1 history and the reasons why. Lewis. Hamilton has had problems spinning already as that cold tyre is down at turn two that caused that. First up, we've got the 2014 Hungarian Grand Prix. The race started under wet conditions, causing chaos right from the get-go. As if these drivers needed any more excuses to bump into each other. There were multiple safety car periods early on, completely changing the race strategies. Just what everyone loves. A nice game of, guess what the strategy should be now. Daniel Ricciardo shunned brightly in this chaotic environment. After a crash by Roman Grosjean and a misstep by Jensen Button's team, Ricciardo regained his lead. But another crash by Sergio Perez brought out the safety car again, dropping Ricardo to sick. Of course, because why not add more drama? He didn't back down. In the final laps, Ricardo was part of an intense three-way fight with Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. He pulled off stunning overtakes, first on Hamilton and then on Alonso, to secure his second career win, just casually passing two of the best drivers in the world like he was on a Sunday drive. His brilliant moves and determination made this race unforgettable. With just three laps to go, he grabbed the lead and secured his second career win. Next, we've got the Bahrain Grand Prix of the same year. It was so intense that it's also known as the duel in the desert, because nothing says epic showdown like baking in the middle of a desert. This race, the third of the new turbo hybrid era, was unforgettable. Mercedes teammates Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg battled fiercely for the top spot. Clearly, sharing is not caring when it comes to race wins. Aware that their championship hopes could hinge on this race, they gave it everything. Lap after lap, they swapped positions positions in an intense display of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Hamilton, Hamilton fights back. Rosberg has to concede the lead within a matter of meters. But Hamilton... In the end, the Hamilton came out on top, but both drivers showed incredible skill and determination. This race showed the intense rivalry within Mercedes and set the stage for their dominance in the turbo hybrid era. Who knew infighting could be so productive? We can't forget to mention the 2010 Australian Grand Prix. The 2010 Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park was unforgettable. Jensen Button, driving for McLaren, shut down his critics by mastering the tricky conditions and winning his second race for the team, proving once again that sometimes the tortoise does beat the hare. The race was pure chaos. Top drivers like Mark Webber, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel all had problems. Apparently, driving in a straight line is harder than it looks. Button made a smart move by switching to slick tyres early which helped him navigate through the mess and take the lead. His cool-headed performance made this race one of the standout events of the decade. It's always refreshing to see someone keep their head while everyone else is losing theirs. Next up is the 2018 German Grand Prix at Hockenheim. This race was a wild ride, especially for Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel. With just 25 laps to go, Ferrari was cruising towards a 1-2 finish, but then the weather took a turn. Rain began to fall, turning the race into chaos. Vettel, who was leading, lost control and crashed out. This opened the door for Lewis Hamilton, who started 14th to take the win. This race perfectly showed how unpredictable F1 can be and how quickly things can change. One moment you're winning, and the next you're just an unwitting lawnmower. But it's not as intense as this next one. The 2017 Azerbaijan Grand Prix at the Baku City Circuit was crazy unpredictable. This race had it all. Early collisions, safety car periods, and intense rivalries. Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen's early crash set the stage. But the real fun came from Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton. Under the safety car, Vettel thought Hamilton brake-checked him and drove into the side of Hamilton's car in frustration. Because clearly, the best way to solve your problems is by playing bumper cars at high speed. Despite the controversy, the race was thrilling, with Daniel Ricciardo pulling off a stunning comeback to take the win. Next, the European Grand Prix in 2012, held in Valencia, was unforgettable, especially for Fernando Alonso. Starting from 11th place, Alonso put on an incredible display of overtaking and strategy. Sebastian Vettel dominated early, but an alternator failure forced him to retire. Because why should anything go according to plan? This gave Alonso the chance to shine. He fought his way through the field, seizing the lead and never looking back. His emotional win in front of his home crowd was the highlight of the season, showing his exceptional driving skills. It was the kind of performance that makes you believe in fairy tales, or at least in very fast cars. 
And then there's the 2012 Brazilian Grand Prix. This race had everything. Championship drama, wild spins and shock retirements. Sebastian Vettel's hopes seemed shattered when he spun on the first lap and dropped to last place. But in a true champion style, Vettel clawed his way back, overtaking car after car, finishing sixth and securing his third consecutive world championship. Clearly, he didn't get the memo that it's rude to upstage everyone else. The race also marked Michael Schumacher's final F1 appearance, a memorable detour by Kimi Raikkonen and a controversial crash that took Lewis Hamilton out of his last race for McLaren. So yeah, there was a lot going on in that one. Speaking of the Brazilian Grand Prix, the 2019 Brazilian Grand Prix was just as wild. Even though the championships had already been decided, this race proved that there was still plenty to play for. The race saw multiple position changes, dramatic crashes, and a thrilling finish. Max Verstappen took the win, but it was the action behind him that kept everyone tense. Pierre Gasly secured his first podium with a brilliant second place, and the race ended in heartbreak for several drivers, including Ferrari's Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel, who collided and retired. Because apparently one dramatic Brazilian Brazilian GP per decade isn't enough. Next, the 2011 Canadian Grand Prix was one of the most thrilling and chaotic races in Formula 1 history. Held at the circuit at Giles Villeneuve in Montreal, this race had everything. Collisions, safety cars, a lengthy rain delay, and an epic comeback. It started wet and wild, much like an unsupervised toddler with a garden hose. Jensen Button collided with his McLaren teammate Lewis Hamilton early on, forcing Hamilton to retire and leaving Button with a puncture. This was just the start of Button's troubles. He made a total of six pit stops due to various issues, including another collision with Alonso. That sent Alonso spinning out and caused another puncture for Button. You'd think he was trying to collect the full set of pit stops. When the race resumed, Button found himself at the back of the field, but he didn't give up. He steadily climbed through the ranks, showing his skill and determination. Button seized the opportunity, overtook Vettel on the last lap, and secured a sensational victory. Just another day at the office for Mr. Button, it seems. The 2019 German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim was another race filled with chaos and unpredictability. The weather played a significant role, with intermittent rain creating treacherous track conditions and causing multiple crashes and retirements. Drivers spun out, and teams scrambled to choose the right tyres for the constantly changing conditions. It was like watching a bunch of headless chickens trying to dance in a storm. Max Verstappen navigated the chaos expertly, managing his tyre strategy perfectly to take the win. Meanwhile, Sebastian Vettel, who started 20th on the grid, delivered an extraordinary performance to finish second, showing his skill and resilience. Clearly, Vettel decided to turn his car into a rocket for the day. But the 2020 Italian Grand Prix at Monza was pure chaos and excitement from start to finish. Known for its high-speed drama, Monza didn't disappoint this time. Lewis Hamilton was dominating the race until Kevin Magnussen's car broke down, bringing out the safety car. Hamilton then made a critical error by pitting when the pit lane was closed, earning a hefty 10-second stop-go penalty. This dropped him from first place all the way to the back of the pack. Oops. As if that wasn't enough, Charles Leclerc crashed, bringing out the red flag. When the race restarted, Pierre Gasly found himself in an unexpected lead. Despite intense pressure from Carlos Sainz, Gasly held on and took his first ever F1 victory. It was a stunning win for Gasly and Alfa Tori, proving that anything can happen in Formula 1. Who needs predictability when you have F1? The 2020 Turkish Grand Prix was another unforgettable race. Held at the Istanbul Park Circuit, it was marked by incredibly wet conditions and a freshly resurfaced track, making grip almost impossible to find. Starting from sixth on the grid, Lewis Hamilton showed his skill and determination. While other drivers struggled to stay on track, Hamilton navigated the treacherous conditions flawlessly. He climbed through the field and took the lead, eventually winning the race. This victory secured Hamilton his seventh world championship, equaling Michael Schumacher's record. The 2021 British Grand Prix at Silverstone was packed with some crazy action. It started with the introduction of the new sprint qualifying format, adding a fresh layer of excitement. But the real fireworks happened on race day. Hamilton and Verstappen, battling for the title, collided at the high-speed Copes corner. Verstappen crashed hard into the barriers, causing a red flag and sending him to the hospital for checks. Despite a 10-second penalty for the incident, Hamilton didn't back down. He fought his way back through the field, and with just a few laps left, he overtook Charles Leclerc to win the race. The home crowd went wild, and the championship battle heated up even more. It's as if Hamilton thought, penalty? What penalty? 
But that same year, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix of 2021 at Yas Marina Circuit was also one of the most intense and controversial races ever. This final race of the season saw Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen going head-to-head -head for the championship. The race was filled with strategic moves and lead changes, but it all came down to a late safety car, because why not add some last-minute drama? When the race resumed, Verstappen, on fresher tyres, overtook Hamilton on the final lap to clinch his first world championship. The dramatic finish sparked debates and left fans buzzing about the incredible end to an unforgettable season. It was the kind of ending that makes soap operas look dull. The 2019 Italian Grand Prix at Monza was a thrilling race that kept fans tense from start to finish. Charles Leclerc, driving for Ferrari, secured a memorable victory in front of the passionate Tifosi. This race had everything, intense battles, dramatic incidents, and high stakes. At the start, Lewis Hamilton got the jump, but Leclerc quickly moved to defend his position, keeping the lead through Turn 1. The race was filled with action, including a significant crash by Sebastian Vettel at Ascari, which not only disrupted his race but also caused chaos as he rejoined the track and collided with Lance Stroll. Well, that's one way to make an entrance. The main highlight was Leclerc's defense against relentless pressure from Hamilton, and later, Valtteri Bottas. Leclerc received a warning for forcing Hamilton off the track, but managed to hold his nerve. Despite a late charge from Bottas, Leclerc held on to win by just 0.835 seconds. The victory ended Ferrari's long winless streak at Monza, and was celebrated wildly by the home crowd, because nothing says celebration like thousands of Italians lose losing their minds. The 2012 Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka was another moment of Formula 1 brilliance. Sebastian Vettel dominated the race from start to finish, driving flawlessly to secure a crucial win in his quest for a third consecutive world championship. Vettel's performance was a masterclass in precision and control. He took pole position and led every lap, showing his exceptional skill on one of the most challenging circuits in the calendar. This victory was vital in his battle with Fernando Alonso for the championship, setting the stage for a thrilling end to the season. The Suzuka Suzuka circuit, with its unique figure eight layout, provided the perfect backdrop for Vettel's display of dominance. He made it look as easy as a Sunday drive, minus the traffic lights and roundabouts. And there you have it, the best F1 races in the past. These races weren't just about winning, but also about stories of perseverance, skill, and drama. Each race left a lasting impact on the sport and its fans, creating unforgettable moments. From Jensen Button's clever strategies to the fierce rivalries between Hamilton and Rosberg, and the determination of drivers like Alonso and Vettel, these races remind us why we love F1. What do you think? Did we miss any of your favorite races? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click on the next one for the latest Formula 1 content.